Gursant Singh here with a response to Jagraj Singh's Why I Went to 3HO Solstice video, which he produced a few weeks ago, in response to questions that were raised by concerned Sikhs about why Jagraj Singh didn't speak up about the 3HO anti gurmat practices that have been going on now for 40 years amongst the 3HO Yogi Bhajan followers there. Now I'll be showing in this video actual comments by Jagraj Singh and then the responses by many concerned Sikhs who are genuinely concerned about these many anti gurmat practices that are going on there uh, at the Yogi Bhajan Dera. And it seems that Jagraj Singh is trying to justify why he didn't speak up against the many anti gurmat practices there. And you'll see from the comments that he's made and the comments of other Sikhs uh, that Jagraj Singh is being very defensive, basically. Uh, you can read these in detail. I encourage you to uh, stop the video and you can actually read the comments here in detail about what Jagraj Singh says. Now, Basics of Sikhi Jagraj Singh seems to have adopted the Yogi Bhajan mouthpiece, Sikh Nath's tactic of avoiding inconvenient facts while attacking the messenger. Let's take a look at that. Jagraj Singh says, I don't need to explain to anyone what other people do. You ask them yourself. And these are Jagraj Singh's words. If they don't answer you, it may be because you are unable to understand their answer. I think it's been made clear to you many times by the 3HO community what their view is. Now, this was an actual comment by Jagraj Singh, which you can read here as I'm scrolling down through his comments and the comments of other Sikhs. So I reply and I say, Well, no, Jagraj Singh Ji, have you not seen the many posts, not only from myself, but from other concerned Sikhs, that state how Sikhnet, Gurmustik Singh, and Guruka Singh never address their concerns? Rather, Sikhnet deletes or blocks posts and or Sikhnet posts add Hanuman or personal attacks on the poster. So it has not been made clear to me or anyone else what their view is, what Sikhnet's view is. So Jagraj Singh says, even I got to understand their Sikhnet 3HO's viewpoint that Patanjali is referred to as a Gurmukh by Bhai Gurdasji. In this case, reading or chanting something by him is not a Hindu mantra, since he is not referred to as a Hindu. So now you can see how Jagraj Singh has taken up this position of 3HO and Sikhnet, that this Swami Patanjali, who lived about 2,000 years ago, and is a Hindu, is okay for 3HO to be chanting these uh, Hindu mantras, is what Jagraj Singh is saying. And you can see here many posts by Jaspreet Singh Ji, who does a very good job of researching what Bhai, Bhai Gurdas Singh says and what other Sikhs say about this Patanjali and about the yoga mat that 3HO is doing. I encourage you again to read through exactly what these other Sikhs uh, and Jaspreet Singh Ji are, are saying. So I reply to Jagraj Singh and I say, so Patanjali is not a Hindu. Next you'll be telling me the Pope is not a Catholic. If Patanjali was such a great Gurmukh, why didn't Guru Arjan Sahib Ji include his writings in Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji. And then Jagraj Singh says, Anyway, since this is done as part of yoga and not ever explained to someone as being Sikhi, I don't know why you keep on going on about it. 
Then I reply and I say, <clears throat> but it is not done as part of yoga. The Aquarian sadhana was made mandatory by Yogi Bhajan for all bhajanists, non-Sikhs and Sikhs, as part of their Amrit Vela spiritual practice. I'm sure you've heard of the Aquarian sadhana. I have many links and videos about this Yogi Bhajan Aquarian sadhana. Thus, the Aquarian sadhana is part of the bhajanist version of Sikhi. This is something that the Aquarian sadhana that the Yogi Bhajan people, 3HO, Sikhnet, do every single day. Other parts of the Aquarian sadhana are definitely Sikh. Mul Mantra, Rake Rakanahari, Wai Gurujiyo. So the Wai Mantra is part of the Bhajana Sikh practice along with some other mishmash mantras that Yogi Bhajan made up. So Jaspreet Singh Ji has rightly brought up that this Patanjali mantra that Yogi Bhajan has 3HO doing every day is a Hindu mantra. And he's asking questions about why are they chanting this every single day as part of their Aquarian sadhana and their Sikh practices. Jagraj Singh is basically, it seems, taken on the position that it is okay and that um, he, he agrees with 3HO and Sikh Nath's position that it's okay to chant this Wayantri mantra, this Hindu mantra. Now, incidentally, Jagraj Singh Ji, Japji Saab, yes, that Japji Saab was also deemed to be part of the Aquarian sadhana by Yogi Bhajan. So by following your logic, that would make Japji Saab as part of yoga. The Wayantri mantra, which Bhajanists chant every day, is not just part of yoga. It is an integral part of the Bhajanist style Sikhi. Now I keep going on about it, and other Sikhs go on, going on about it, as do other concerned Sikhs, because this is contrary to Gurmat. This is why people are angry with you, Jagraj Singh, because you refuse to discuss the obvious breach of the Sikh Rahat Mariyata, as well as a lot of other stuff. And then I put a link here in the description to the video to a video I made several months ago, and I say in the video, is Garuka Singh lying when he says Sikhnet doesn't promote Hindu mantras? And this goes into detailed explanation about it. So Jagraj Singh says here, Frankly, Guru Sant Singh, from what I've seen of you, your complete attitude stinks, and you attack anyone who doesn't support your vendetta. And I want to point out that these are actual quotes from Jagraj Singh. And so you'll see them here in the video under his comments. Let's go back to this actual comment where Jagraj Singh says this. Some of these things here. You can read through this comment of Jagraj Singh's. Jagraj Singh says, Frankly, Guru Sant Singh, from what I've seen of you, your complete attitude stinks, and you attack anyone who does not support your vendetta. And then Jagraj Singh goes on to say in another comment, and I'll show you that later, he says, Gursant, you are a very, in every way, a numpty. And I look this up. Um, it means some stupid person. It's Scottish, evidently, some Scottish word. So Jagraj Singh says, I call you a fool. Let me tell you again. You, Gursant Singh, are a numpty. You are a weird little man, twisted in hate. Now, I want to say something just briefly about this. Um, this was pretty disturbing that um, somebody who, like Jagraj Singh, says he's a Sikh shark, um, calling somebody names like this, uh, another fellow Gursik, uh, just to me seems really inappropriate. And um, it almost seems like a fifth grader or something uh, calling kids names in the schoolyard. So I think Jagraj Singh needs to evaluate uh, why he said these things and just uh, essentially apologize. So 
Let's look at another screen here. We can see this was in another thread where you can see the actual comments of Jag Raj Singh where he says these things. So my response is here. Well, a lot of presumption is going on here, Jag Raj Singh Ji. This is a ludicrous statement. Well, first I said here, here we go with the ad hominem and personal attacks. What about discussing the facts? This is a response to these personal attacks Jagraj Singh is making against me. So Jagraj Singh says, also in this comment, actually it's in the last comment in the other thread. You can go back to that and read where he says, The only people supporting you are from India because they believe your half-truths without using critical thinking. The rest of the Western Sikhs, especially the youth, are able to see beyond. And that's here in this comment here. You can read it here. It's just towards the end of this comment here. I'm putting the cursor on it here. It says here, most of the people reading here do not understand how much you twist the truth to suit your agenda. The only people supporting you are from India because they believe your half-truths without using critical thinking. said, the rest of the Western Sikhs, especially the youth, are able to see beyond. This is what Jagaraj Singh says. So my response is, well, a lot of presumption is going on here. This is a ridiculous statement because you have no proof of this whatsoever. In any case, half-truths cannot stand up when confronted with truth. If you, Sikhnet and Bhajanism, would present your truths, perhaps you could prove I am a liar and a hater. But none of you will openly discuss these issues. You obfuscate, change the subject, delete, block, and attack the messenger. Those who are secure in their beliefs will not hesitate to discuss them. So again, you can read this entire comment by Jagraj Singh, and you can actually see that it is from him. It was made uh, about a week or so ago. Let's go back to that thread now. So I asked Jagraj Singh, do you consider Sikh scholar and historian Dr. Trilochan Singh from the Punjab, who wrote Sikhism and Tantric Yoga, a critical look at Yogi Bhajan and his Tantric Kundalini Yoga practices in the light of correct Sikh teachings in 1977, as someone who believes in half-truths without using critical thinking. Please, Jagraj Singh Ji, explain for those with inquiring minds just how Dr. Halocha Singh believed in half-truths without using critical thinking. You may want to read Dr. Halocha Singh's book, which you can download at this link before you talk off the top of your head, as you so often appear to do without reading and researching. So, Jagraj Singh here is almost making a racist statement, I feel, saying that Sikhs from India do not use critical thinking. That's basically what he says here. And so I'm saying here that, of course, Sikhs from India use critical thinking. It's Jagraj Singh who's being the racist and the person who is um, generalizing about Sikhs from India. It's a very racist statement, in my opinion. And Dr. Shalochan Singh, who first brought up these issues about Yogi Bhajan in 1977, uh, certainly uses critical thinking. And I encourage all of you to read this book by Dr. Shalochan Singh, which goes into great detail about the anti government practices of Yogi Bhajan in 3HL. 
I'll put a link to this book here at the um, description of this video. So, Jagraj Singh says, Are you and your followers unable to see the bigger picture in our pump? And then I say, I think that you are the one who refuses to see the bigger picture, Jagraj Singh. The Bhajanist movement started in untruth and continues as such. It is presenting a corrupted version of Sikhi, and in some parts of the world, it presents the only image of Sikhi to an unsuspecting public. The real problem here is that the Bhajanists look to an authority that they consider higher than the Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Sikh Rahat Mariyada, and the Panth. This authority is, a, is Yogi Bhajan and his teachings. Oh yes, they, Sikh Net, and the 3HO people will deny it when talking to you and other Punjabis like yourself. But if you look a little deeper, you will find that loyalty to Yogi Bhajan over the Sikh Rahat Mariyada is a part of their constitution. This is totally how they operate. Now, I have put a link in the description of this video to a legally recorded court document which states the related entities, and this is Sikh Nat 3HO, Sikh Dharma International, KR, etc., mission is to support and advance the practice of the Sikh religion or the technology of Kundalini Yoga as both were taught by Yogi Bhajan. And what this essentially is saying is that Sikh Nat and the 3HO people must follow the teachings of Yogi Bhajan when it concerns Sikhi and this Kundalini Yoga above all else. So if there's anything that conflicts with Yogi Bhajan's teachings, guess what? The 3HL people are obligated to follow the teachings of Yogi Bhajan above the Sikh Rahat Mariyata, above the Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji, above any other teachings. And I put a link to this document. It was a court-recorded document when they were fighting amongst themselves. And so this was a settlement agreement that was recorded with the court and signed by all of these different entities, SeekNet, 3HL. Let's have no doubt about it. Their loyalty and their allegiance is to Yogi Bhajan. And that's why I call it a cult. Because Yogi Bhajan is a cult leader, if you look at the definition of a cult. So this puts the 3HL people in Sikhnat in a similar category to the Namdaris and Radhaswamis. Now I have not heard Jagraj Singh if, you go, if you're going to Namdari Gurdwaras or Radhaswami Daras for Prachar, but maybe you do. I don't know. Bhajanism is introducing many unsuspecting Westerners to a version of Sikhi that is based in Manmat. If the 3HO people would simply accept that they are Bhajanists, and call themselves that, my job would be over. So, basically, I am saying that the Bhajanists can do whatever they want to do, but they shouldn't call themselves Sikhs. They use Sikh as Sikhi to promote their yoga mat and their anti-Sikh practices, and then other people in the world and unsuspecting Sikh youth get the wrong impression about what Sikhi is about. So again, please go through this video and you can read all the different comments by Concerned Sikhs, by Jagraj Singh, and I'll put a link to this. Uh, Kundalini Yoga is not part of Sikhism there, so you can uh, view all these different comments. And they're very, very good, very inquiring. And it shows, of course, that Sikhs from India have inquiring minds and that they use critical thinking. So when you see Jag Raj Singh next, please ask him why he's not answering the concerned Sikhs here that you can see have a real concern about these anti Gurmat practices that are being practiced over there at Yogi Bhajan's Dara. Thank you for your time. Wahiguchika Kalsa, Wahiguchiki Fateh.